I would like to know where to go to do more research about it and okay. also obviously things to help. Yeah. Okay, so. here's the deal. Lupus is kind of a generic collection disease. It's a whole bunch of different autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune diseases, listen, I always say this. It doesn't matter the name of the disease. Naming a disease is just some stupid medical trick to get you to get to fool us into uh, into participating into the medical model. You don't need to have a diagnosis or the name of a disease. Lupus is just a generic autoimmune disease. MS is an autoimmune disease that affects the nerves. Uh, um, uh, vitiligo is an autoimmune disease that affects the pigment cells. There's different autoimmune diseases. The diabetes is an autoimmune disease that affects the pancreas, and on and on and on. Myasthenia gravis affects the muscles. There's different autoimmune disease names for different areas of the body. Lupus is, they just gave up on it because lupus covers all kinds of different parts of the body. It's like, oh, forget it. This is too complicated. Let's just call it lupus. So uh -huh. when, you have, when you have lupus, you have an autoimmune disease of the joints, of the skin, of the blood, of the uh, blood cells, of the heart, of the lungs, all over the body. It's like they just gave up, you know? It's too complicated yeah. to name everything, so we'll just call it lupus. You don't need to know where, what part of the body is being affected. It's irrelevant. It's a diversion. It's a red herring. It's a way of disempowering us. It's a way of empowering them, the predators, right. the medical model predators who make money and pay their mortgage and send their kids to college on our misery. How unfair is that? It is so rude. It is so insulting. Yeah. So anyway, what you want to do if you have lupus or sorry about that, if you, have, if you have lupus or any other autoimmune disease, all you got to know is that you have an autoimmune disease. That means the body's attacking itself, the immune system is going wacko. That always happens when the immune system is chronically activated. The only way the immune system becomes chronically activated is through food. Now, uh, I, I suppose you could inject something into your blood, and that can do it, too. So assuming she's not an IV drug user uh, or she's not breathing in something, you know, excessive amounts of plutonium or chemtrails, chances are she's got a pretty darn good, she's got a food problem. So focus on food. Look to the digestive system. This is true, folks, for any autoimmune disease, no matter where in the body it's happening. Look to food, uh, look to digestive symptoms, and then link those digestive symptoms to specific foods and then eliminate those foods. Then you use digestive support. Probiotics are chief among those because probiotics also have an ability to support the immune system in addition to helping us process foods. The nightly essence is my favorite probiotic. I'd be, I'd be having her taking nine capsules a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, and three at night. Uh, other nutritional support supplements for the digestive tract include Longevity Z Radical, which is an absolutely mind-blowing immune-boosting and digestive system supporting supplement. Um, probably a cap full at least three times, at least two times a day, but she can take three times. She can take them three times a day also. Healthy Start Pack, must have. Sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Specifically for the immune system, I'd be taking high doses of vitamin C, anywhere from five to ten grams a day. Stay away, uh, be careful of diarrhea or loose stools. Taking too much vitamin C can cause some, some loose stools. Vitamin E is also very important for the immune system. 400 international units of vitamin E. Same with vitamin A. 20,000 international units of vitamin A. Have her take her vitamin E and A with food because she probably isn't going to be absorbing those as well, uh, as well as most people. Uh, zinc is also important for the immune system. 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. Always balance out your zinc with copper. And you will get some zinc and copper in your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack. There's so much more you can do. Luigi, but that is a great place to start. Uh, and one last thing for anybody with autoimmune disease, including your friend, intermittent fasting will make her feel better. The less food you eat when you have an autoimmune disease, the better you're going to feel because it's food that's activating the immune system for the most part. So eating less food, intermittent fasting, taking days off from food, all of those are wonderful strategies. If she has a hard time or anybody has a hard time fasting, use lemon water, uh, get a Vitamix, make vegetable juices, or you can make uh, vegetable waters, which aren't quite vegetable juices. It's just like one piece of a vegetable in with water as opposed to an entire juice. But that can help you, help you, uh, help you fast a little bit easier. Thanks so much for your call, Luigi. I want to move on. Is there anything else you got? Yeah, one, one, it only take a second, but uh, where would be a good source for me to go to do additional research? research about all right, for, any, yeah. for all research, you want to go to scholar.google.com or you want to go to pubmed.com. Scholar.google.com or pubmed.com. Those are the two best yeah, research. I use them. You use those already? Those are the best yeah, ones. Yeah, I, I use them, but I, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, and okay. uh, I've, uh, so C, uh, E, 
C E Z. Yeah, you're going to have to go back. I, know I gave you a ton of information. Go back and listen to the archives. I'm going to move on, Luigi. Thanks so much, bro. Have a beautiful day. Tara, North Carolina, I'm so sorry. I know you've been holding on forever. What's going on? I didn't. Um, I have a loved one that has been smoking for 24 years now. That's a and, long time. Um, yeah, it is. And she's tried to quit. And, okay. you know, she goes back to cigarettes. She's tried the vapor things. Um, I just want to know what Lots are of strategies for quitting. Yes. Well, there's no strategy for willpower. It's just willpower, and that's the first thing you got to do. You got to want to quit. Now, smoking, as I was talking earlier, affects nerves in the brain, nerve cells in the brain. So, your nerve cells become dependent on the smoking, and it becomes very difficult to counteract that. So, what you want to do is start using some good nutrition. Keeping your blood sugar stable is very important. Uh, people will take a, a nicot- will smoke cigarettes to get the relax relaxing effects of nicotine, and those relaxing effects are sometimes secondary to the hyper effects of sugar. So, keeping her sugar uh, stable, blood sugar stable, by using more protein uh, is a very important strategy for quitting smoking. Uh, Secondly, when you exercise, you have a a reduced tendency to want to smoke. So the more you're exercising, especially aerobic exercising, the less you're going to want cigarette smoke. And then using nutritional supplements can help too. All the nutritional supplements, the Healthy Star Pack, but especially niacin, timed release niacin, 400 milligrams a day. Make sure it's timed release though, uh, because uh, you're going to get the niacin flush if you don't use the timed release niacin. Vitamin C is very important for lung health. It's not necessarily important. It uh, might not help quitting smoking, but it's important for lung health. So same with vitamin E. And then using choline supplements can help as well. And that's all the time we have for today. Again, I am so sorry for leaving folks on hold. But uh, we'll be back at you on the next Bright Side episode. Thanks for listening, folks. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. If you'd like to listen to GCN programs on the go, I have great news. GCN has created a droid and iPhone application, and it's free. Just as easy as going to GCNlive.com, click on the banner, and download. Before you know it, you'll be listening to your favorite hard-hitting GCN shows, live or on demand, right on your droid or iPhone, 24-7 and on the go. So download the droid and iPhone app free by clicking on the banner at GCNlive.com. Thanks again for listening to GCNlive.com. Again, that's GCNlive.com. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies. Products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1 877 99 Berkey. That's 877 99 B E R K E Y. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. <laughs> 